Hi everybody, how are you?、Um, it's 2018 January 11th, 111 today, and I'm making video for the first time、um, in this year in English. I have two channels, and I have an,、uh, one Japanese channel that I've been constantly make,、uh, uploading videos. But the English channel I just started、uh, last year, November 11, 11, 11. And I haven't had.、Um, at, uh, as of today, I don't have、uh, many views, I don't have、uh, subscribers, much,、uh, many subscribers, but I really don't care. I'm using this, my English channel, as、uh, my like, a diary. And I can keep up with all my、um, spiritual progress and my like, ascension, ascension progress and uh, my uh, information s that I like to store in case something happened to me or something, to ha something happened to. Mother Earth Gaia, or something happened, just simply something happened. I like to、uh, keep this channel as my diary. So, uh, um, yes, uh, people have been, you know, spiritual communities, people have been talking about ascension, the Gaia's ascension, humanity's ascension. Ascension is that currently we are in a Third dimensional realm, this planet Earth, Mother Earth, has been in third dimensional、uh, realm, meaning that we have duality, we have polarity. So, duality, like we all, as a human, as a human being, animals, natures, plants, everything that Has、um, that are、uh, living here on this earth currently had to, you know, ha ha we have to experience the duality, polarity, like hot and cold, different seasons, four seasons,、um, tall and short, big, small. Plenty and less, like scarcity, and so many dualities exist exist in this third dimensional plane. But the ascension means that this third dimensional duality, the,、uh, the existence of duality, we are shifting into 5D, fifth dimensional existence. So, fifth dimension, we talk about like dimensions, and spiritual communities talk about like how many dimensions、uh, are there in the、uh, galaxy, in the universe. I really don't know how many dimensions. Some people say there are 12 dimensions, some people say infinite dimensions. So, and、uh, as far as I know, I'm still a, a, a human being. Residing on the、uh, Mother Earth and experiencing the duality. I have experienced all kinds of polarities, all kinds of experiences from yes, positive and negative. s We call positives and negatives. I have experienced both, countless, countless, both polarities, experiences. So,、uh, but In,、um, ultimately, I, re I really feel that there are no positives or negatives, just the different polarities. So, this is the、uh, like、true existence of a human being. And、uh, ascension, yes, ascension. So, spiritual community has been talking about ascensions for, I don't know, past 10 years or so. And 
I actively started researching and listening and talking about ascension myself for maybe past five years or so. And I started talking about ascension and spirit, you know, uh, spirituality on my YouTube channel for three, more than three years, I think, more than three years. Start, started in 2014, fall, fall of 2014. And, uh, um, yes, so when I started talking about ascension, I really didn't, couldn't grasp what is really 5D, what is really ascension. It was like a, a sci-fi movies, it was like a spiritual no novel, something like a fairy tale. And years went by and now I am standing, I am sitting right now, but the uh, 2018, January, and I've researched about other people who have already experienced ascension and who have been contacted by beings of, like, from other planets and angelic, angelic realms and spirit guides and stuff like that. And those people have been taught and told how that, you know, Mother Earth and the humanity are shifting and changing and when the uh, true shift uh, is it, 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 going to occur, uh, stuff like that. And I, up to maybe last, like last few months, I, I couldn't really still grasp what is the you know really ascension how i'm going to feel how i'm how you know what kind of like consciousness i can have or what kind of experiences i can have when i'm like moving toward the ascension realm of uh, 5d and now um i yes um I, okay, I have been all of my life, I, I was an empath and I'm so, I was so sensitive toward energies, other people's energies and emotions and I've been really, really deeply affected by what's going on around my family, my friends and my partners and co uh, colleagues and what's going on in the world and everything else around me seriously like being bombarded by energies around me and I often I I had I, I had had like a series of severe depressions I was depressed for many many years and it, my life I looking back my life it was really nothing um it was not easy it was not easy at all especially the life that i since i came to the u.s united states 20 some uh, plus years ago i became a single mother i did i do not i still do not have any family members besides my son and I didn't, when I, uh, my son was born, he, I was alone. I was alone in the hospital. And uh, my baby, baby was sleeping right next to me in the hospital. Nobody, nobody visited me. Nobody gave me any baby shower. Nobody gave me any uh, a bouquet or a, a toy or a stuffed animal or anything like that. I, yeah, I'm not uh, trying to pity myself, but I experienced that solitude, loneliness, fear of being totally alone in this world with a baby. And I raised my son, uh, a child, all by myself throughout um, until my son actually becomes a grown man, adult, wonderful young man. I never uh, got married. 
um, I never re really, really had anybody that I could totally count on, uh, rely on. And a lot of times I felt that my life was, you know, under sacrifice. I, I was, I had to sacrifice everything to just raise a child. <laughs> And especially probably any of you, if you ever listen to my channel, this message, being a single parent and from another country, you are an immigrant. Nobody, you had nobody, you, you don't have any family, uh, relatives, uncles, aunts, uh, grandma, granda, dad, or mom, or sister, brothers, anybody else whatsoever you do understand how hard, how difficult it, it is, it is. And I've, I've gone through it. I've gone through more and more in, in the, even the relationships I went through, romantic relationships, because of my situation, because of that, uh, my lifestyle. Some people try to take advantage of it. Some people really try to, you know, manipulate you know people like you know me back then and the situation and i've dealt with a lot of people who are not honest who are not really fair who are not compassionate and uh, also at the same time i've met i have dealt with i have met so many wonderful people so many compassionate, loving, caring people who supported me, who helped me in the midst of really, really the most difficult times, difficult years of my life. I still remember, you know, those faces, names. Some of them are already ascended, they're gone, and shed their bodies, but I still remember them and some of them are still somewhere in, in this still uh, third dimensional planet going to fifth dimension. And um, yes, um, I, and yes, we are talking about this ascension and people are talking about symptoms, like those ascension symptoms. And so many people are just experiencing different things, different like weird things, like absolutely like this energy, energy is absolutely different. The energy is coming in from some another dimensions, other dimensions or portals. I feel that energy is really different and the, uh, uh, people are talking about these uh, energies and uh, we are affected by those uh, ascension energies as uh, ascension flu. Like, a lot of people are experiencing like we, you have a flu, having a fever, having a like, excessive you know, like sweat, sweating, sweat and the uh, cold chill and heat and vibrate, body is vibrating and all kinds of uh, symptoms and I've had um, myself, I've had the uh, ascension, sim uh, those uh, flu-like symptoms and especially these couple of months I've been feeling um, unbelievably sleepy, like uh, I sleep enough, I think I sleep enough but I've been sleeping, uh, I've been sleepy all day long, all night long, no matter how many hours I sleep, I slept, I, I still feel sleepy and my, um, I've been, my dreams are more vivid now and yeah, my dreams are more vivid and also my perception is clear, like people are talking about DNA upgrade rewiring the DNA and I really feel that my uh, perception is clear and I, my connection to the spirit realm is definitely deeper, like clear and deeper. And past couple of months, I feel like joy and bliss, deep gratitude, 
peace, like peace of mind, peace of mind, like gratitude and quietness and happiness and just like being thankful. And I have not like had this feeling in a long time. I don't remember when, but I've been feeling free and grateful. And also, besides the sleepiness, I feel full of vitality, like, oh yes, like, I'm so, like, full of energy. When I'm walking out, I walk out every day, and also taking dogs um, for walk every day, daily walk. I used to, like, feel like I had to drag myself, I had to drag my legs, and so heavy but now like uh, oh wow i feel like 20 years old again a lot of times i feel that and then going back to sleepiness like sleepy i want to take a nap i'm so sleepy i really don't know what's going on with me and around me but this ascension um it's I absolutely feel that something is happening it's, and then something is working behind the scene. Something is absolutely, totally like new is coming, coming to each one of us, to my life, to your life. And uh, even people who are not spirituals and who have never heard of ascension, humanities and Mother Earth ascension, I really feel that, especially starting from this year, in the next couple of years, people who are not spirituals, who don't care about ascension, who have never heard of the word ascension, will be also like waking up and noticing start noticing that energy shift and something is totally changing something is different something is like what something is going to happen i don't know i can't grasp it i can't point fingers at it but something is definitely going to happen something is coming and I think, I feel that uh, something is different, you know, something is coming, it's not like negative sense. Some people might like a little bit of fear, wow, the earthquake is gonna happen, or World War Three, or uh, terrorist, uh, terrorism is going to happen again, or nuclear war or something. If you, you are living in fear, you might have associated with some negativity with that something happening feeling. But I, I feel that a lot of us, most of us, we don't associate with negativity, this chain, you know, something is going to happen. I, yes, um, absolutely, I feel the shift in my life, my energy field, and my perception. And past couple of months, I feel so, like, peaceful, grateful, and, uh, yeah, grateful, thankful of all the people that I have dealt with, I have met, I have interacted with. Positive, negative, ended relationship, ended friendship, ended. Um, I was fired, I was betrayal, I was uh, taken advantage of all kinds of stuff. Everything included. I feel grateful and I, they are all, all the experience that I've had is my treasure. And uh, we are all together. We are in this together, all together. And I cannot wait what's going to really happen in this Mother Earth. And each one of us, I and you, what, how we are gonna really, you know, like shift into brand new like living, brand new state of consciousness. And in 5D, in a, a fifth dimensional living, I really feel that all of our shattered dreams, forgotten dreams, all that, like our 
desired, past desired, dreams, visions. We will have it, we will experience it. We can experience it. Everything that we have ever dreamed of, including all the lost love, the souls that we feel we have felt that we lost, we haven't lost. They are there already waiting for us. And I cannot wait to reunite. Yeah, me to me to like physical human being, 3 3D uh, con uh, conscious level. I can I cannot wait to reunite. So anyway, I don't know what I wanted to talk, but so it's a uh, 20 minutes. I will end this video. Um, thank you so much if you listen to this uh, my my chat <laughs> thank you so much and i wish you the very very best namaste